The question 20 is about congruent triangles. Congruent triangles means equal triangles. We have real world problems here. Camila is designing a new image for a cell phone case. If the measure of ABC, let's see where is ABC, this one, is given as 35 degrees and BAC is given as 29 degrees. And ACB, this measure, is equal to DEB this one they both are equal we need to find deb so we don't know the you know you can tell these are vertical angles and this is 35 but we don't know this particular angle so instead of trying with this the best way is we can easily find acb and then tell acb value is equal to deb but looking at this you can tell this is congruent now, this is just for in more information, you know. Look at this. They are vertically opposite, right? If this is 35, whenever you have like this across, this and this are always equal. The other side, they'll be equal to each other as well. So now we can say 35 over here means this is also 35. Now they have already told this and this is equal. So the third angle from the third angle property, they must be equal. This must be 29 itself, okay? But anyways, now we will just consider ACB. From triangle ACB, we know that angle, let's do one by one, ABC plus angle BCA plus angle CAB. What is this equal to? When you add up all the angles of triangles, they are equal to 180 degree because the sum of all the angles in a triangle, triangle is 180 degrees. Now then substitute what do we know? We know ABC is 35 and BC, BAC, this one is 29. We don't know this, that is BCA and ABC is the same thing. ACB, sorry. So this is what is not known, but this is equal to 180 degrees. Now take everything to the other side and leave ACB here. So it'll be 180 minus 35 minus 29. You can put it in the calculator and get the measure of ACB. So this will be 150, 45, 115, 116 degrees. So that is the answer. Now this is ACB, but we know ACB is equal to DEB. So even DEB must be 116 degrees. So that is how we can easily solve it up. You don't need to write all these details over here. Just if you understand it's enough, this left side is very important to write. Another real world problem, another interesting one. Mr. Lewis is building a rustic dining table. Instead of having four legs, the table has set supports, set of supports at each end. If PRQ, where is PRQ, this angle is equal to TVU, this angle, and RPQ, RPQ is given to be 49 degrees and we also know this is equal to over here 90 degrees so what is the measure of TVU this one is unknown now this one is not a regular table where you know generally you will have four sets of supports isn't it no this entire thing is a support which is going down and this one is the entire thing for support now then how do we solve this is let's focus on the left side triangle because we can easily find 49, 90, and this can be found out, right? So I will take, I'll write in short forms, angle P plus angle Q plus angle R will be equal to 180 degree. Why? Because the triangle total angle is 180 degree. And now only R is unknown. Let's substitute all that we know. P is 49 degrees plus Q is 90 degrees plus R is the unknown value that is equal to 180 and take this to the other side it will be 180 minus 90 degrees minus 49 degrees so it will be 90 minus 49 so it's 41 degrees that's the answer it's 41 that's the measure of R that is PRQ, but we do not need that. We need TVU, but they have clearly mentioned they both are equal. So this is equal to TVU as well. Angle V is also 41 degrees. So that must be the answer. That's the answer. Now we have to write two column proof. Now two column proof we have done in the previous problems. 
you will have statement and reasons like this okay i just go through the reasons because it's just the same thing we have to write it and we need to understand what is equal over here and solve it up now we are not doing anything like sas or aaa um, not those postulates sorry there's no aa postulate you remember sas asa all those postulates no we are just finding they are congruent literally all the angles and all the sides must be equal that's it now they have told ab the line segment this is the line segment ab is equal to cb and also ad is equal to cd and bad that is angle bad is equal to bcd um, one question because i remember long back on student i asked me why do we write b a d or b c d instead of writing angle a because b a d and angle a is the same thing right why are we writing like this yes you can write angle a that's correct in this case it doesn't matter at all you can write directly but what if i want angle b now there are two angles isn't it this side and that side now which one am i exactly telling you so this is the thing if i tell a b d a b d then i will understand this is the angle whereas if i tell c b d it will be this angle so you know to get a difference of the exact angle if i tell just b it will be the entire thing right to exactly specify which is which that's why we write it in the full forms but for your if you understand well if you're just dealing with one triangle you can write only a it's fine okay and what about bcd bcd this is the angle bd bisects abc can you see when you bisect the angles will be cut equally if this is say 50 degrees it will be 25 25 now this is all given we need to prove that abd and cbd are congruent to each other the triangles so now we know a lot of information we know this angle we know this angle we know this angle because bisection means this angle right now if two angles of a triangle are known see now this is equal to this this is equal to this so this must be equal to the other side why because the other two are known right now this one how is it equal is imagine this is say 40 degrees and this is 50 degrees now we know this is 40 means this is also 40 this will be 50 now how do you find the other angle the one unknown angle of a triangle it is 180 minus the other two known ones 40 minus 50 so even over here it's the same formula so whatever happens it will be 90 degrees right 80 minus 40 is 140 minus 50 is 90 so this will be 90 this will also be 90 so that's why if you know two are same in a triangle the third one in both the triangles will be equal so this is by third angles theorem you can see that's the third angles theorem see lots of things are given over here just the given things are written each angle everything is given now if something is bisecting this angle will be equal that is definition of angle bisector so all the angles are found out they are equal now what about this bd line it's a common line for both so it's a reflexive property it's a reflection right so because of reflexive property of congruence they that is also equal to each other so literally all the sides and all the angles are equal therefore these two triangles are congruent so that's how we can prove it but we need to write in detail same thing over here all the sides see two sides are given bd is a reflexive property what about the angles they have told you know the two angles they have clearly mentioned abd and cbd is equal adb and cdb are equal so the third angle property theorem says that all the three angles must be equal and all the three sides including bd because reflexive property they're all equal see over here the detail the answers are given and even over here but over here what happens is see these two angles are vertical opposite angles vertical angles so that's why they are congruent to each other and then the other angles they have already mentioned see a and c are equal and D and B are also equal. They have clearly mentioned. And about the sides, see AD, AD is equal to CB, AE is equal to CE. And they have told AC is bisecting the line BD. Whenever there is a line being bisected, means imagine this is a 10 centimeter line, you bisect it, it will clearly be half. 
5 centimeter 5 centimeter equal part so that means this and this is equal so that is the segment bisector definition and therefore all the sides and all the angles are equal therefore the triangles are congruent to each other that's how easily we can solve these problems and that's the end of the question 20 there's one more to go please do stay tuned